Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. today's video I'm doing something a little different and I'm talking about my all-time favorite book series and that is the Cassandra Clare Shadowhunter series this is just the first book I grabbed but yeah so enjoy the video I don't really know what direction I'm gonna take this video in it's just really just me talking about my all-time favorite book series if you saw the thumbnail or if you saw any pictures of me, currently I have all my Cassandra Clare books sitting right in front of me. And it is something I am very, 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 very passionate about. Before I started my YouTube channel, just started filming in general, this was something I would watch a lot on YouTube and always be so jealous of other people because they would get books sent to them like PR packages of pre-releases and all that. So since I do have a YouTube channel and I am very, very passionate about these books, I was like, oh, why don't I just live out my middle school dreams and maybe, hopefully, it comes across the right tables and later in the future I can get, you know, a book sent to me because I would absolutely love it. So I originally started reading the series in middle school, I think eighth grade or seventh grade. So like 2017, 2016. And I started reading the books because I loved the TV show. But looking at like after reading the books, I will say the books are way better and they do kind of get a lot of things wrong or just keep out things from the TV show that are just so much better in the books. Like, they don't talk about the Infernal Devices. They don't talk about the Last Hour series. Like, they hint at it, but it's not really talked about. And those are those on their own are very good stories, too. So, I guess I'm going to start with the Infernal Devices. Actually, let me... I'm mistaken. I'm going to start with the Last Hours. I was going to say the Infernal Devices because that's how I started off reading for me. But that was before the Last Hours came out. So currently, there are two books in the series, Chain of Gold, and then there's Chain of Iron. There's going to be a third one coming out in November, and when that book comes out, you know I'm going to get it. But currently, these are the two in the series. Okay, so my camera died, but like I was saying, these two are in the Last Hour series. They are my fa it is my favorite series from the Shadowhunters by Cassandra Clare so far. And I really do love the characters and the time it's set and just like having a flashback to some of the uh, older characters. Infernal Devices, I love them. Moving on, I think my next favorite series, ooh, it's kind of hard, like, <laughs> It would be between the Infernal Devices, I got this special edition, Infernal Devices, and the Mortal Instruments, just because I really do love, I'm going to use the other ones, I really do love the love story between Jem and Will and Tessa, and just Seeing the perspective of Tessa, who's half warlock, warlock, half shadow hunter, and seeing how Will doesn't think he could be loved and ending up finding love within the, these three people, between Jem, between Tessa, and himself, and just seeing them grow together is really nice. And again, I like the time period. It's different. It's like... It really is like you're inserting yourself into a story and just finding love and being in love. And it's not all 100% like good and nice. Like they do go through some hardships and I do appreciate them. And then we have some good characters like Henry and Charlotte and Sophie and Gabriel and Gideon. And then their dad 
and Tatiana and everything that happens. And yeah, and we see people like we know from the other series like Magnus and Camille and again, Tessa and Jem just in different, you know, form and seeing how the characters from these books remind you of characters in the Mortal Instruments, like seeing how Will acts and Cecily and then seeing Jace and same thing with the last hours, like seeing characters like James and Cordelia and Matthew and then seeing like their ancestors or their predecessors, if it's correct, in Clary and in uh, Isabel and Alec and Jace and just seeing that and seeing a little bit of them in those characters and then seeing them also in Emma and <laughs> just loving them. And then after that, at, but those that's a tie. Like my next favorite is between Mortal Instruments and the Feral Devices. But then after that, I really do love the Dark Artifacts. I really do. Um, the whole Emma and uh, Julian falling in love and just if, if you read the Mortal Instruments you would see like there was kind of like a hint to him having feelings or her having feelings and then you see that continue as they're older and everything that's happened with them losing people and what happened in the Mortal Instruments with their family and Shadowhunter realm or society and then having that transcend into their own series and following them and having their own issues and basically being their own heroes in that situation. It's amazing. Like the way Julian is written is very nice and the way Emma's written is very nice. And then we get new characters like Christina and Kieran and Mark and Kit. It's really nice. It's really nice. Amazing. Love her stories. Love her stories. And then we get like side stories where we have Ghost of Shadow Market that follows Brother Zachariah. Love it because it gives us an insight into a lot of the things we didn't really know we wanted insight into. Like we find out about Kit's mom in here. We find out about him meeting Will. Like, there's so many, but like, him falling in love with Tessa even though he was a uh, brother and wanting to stay but realizing his duty and everything and that he she'd never get a normal life. It's a lot of good stuff. Also some you to get like little art in the middle. It's a very good side story kept me intrigued loved it. I keep saying love it but I just really do love it. And then we get another side story the eldest curses i don't have this one in hardcover but i because this one's on no i have this one in paperback but i don't have this one in paperback because it's not in paperback yet or at least when i bought it, it wasn't and we get the eldest curses where we basically go on the journey of at malik which is uh magnus and alec and this is happening in the middle of the mortal instruments so it's nice to see what they did when they were on their vacation during that time. And then this one's set after City of Heavenly Fire when they put that kind of law where it's you can't really talk or interact with the Fae because of what they've done with uh, Sebastian Morgenstern. It's, we're taken to China. They have to deal with pretty much, I feel like, it's a connection to the past in the last hours because there is someone who's related to the main antagonist in the last hours that is also an antagonist here it could be protagonist okay we're also introduced to a villain that was given a redemption arc not really a de redemption arc redemption chance and they took it and became a villain again here so yeah I really do love Cassandra Clare's books. There is another book, Shadow Tales from Shadowhunter Academy. I did read it. I currently don't have it. I have the audiobook of it. And I love that I love that book too. It gives an insight into more about because 
when you read these books, you kind of, she doesn't leave you with a cut off, but she kind of leaves you with space. So at the end of the Moral Instrument, we wonder about a character named Simon, and then in Shadow Hunter Academy, we get that, you know, we get filled in about what happened, and then we get into the other books like The Infernal, no, The Dark Artifacts. So that's good. And it talks about his journey to become a shadow hunter and remembering his past. And it's nice because we don't see that part of shadow hunter world, like shadow hunter academy and becoming a shadow hunter or training to be a shadow hunter. And we get that from him. And we get to see more characters and get flashbacks from characters too, such as Catalina, Magnus, Alec, Clary, Isabel. And it's nice. It really is. If you're looking for a new series to read, I really, really, really do recommend the entire Cassandra Clare Shadow Hunter series. I haven't read her Sword Catcher, but I hear it's pretty good, so you should also look out for that. But yeah, thank you for watching. Come back to my channel anytime. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and thank you for watching. Okay, bye.